The Desmond and Leah Tutu Legacy Foundation and the Ukrainian Association of South Africa are bringing a specially curated exhibition, The Womanly Face of War, to cities across South Africa as part of a landmark collaboration by Ukrainian artists and South Africa's civil society to improve public understanding of the impact of the war in Ukraine, particularly on women and children. The exhibition is based on four female artists' personal perspectives of how the Russian invasion of Ukraine has impacted on women and girls, including the horror of sexual and gender-based violence and how mothers have been forced into perilous roles as fighters and lifesavers. To share more on this work of art, we are now joined by curator Olesia Trashkaba. Very good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Good to have you on the show this morning, Olesia. So what's the story being told about this exhibition, if, if any? Uh, we think that uh, war is mm, cannot be longer the only man uh, like mm. concern and uh, of course uh, life of all Ukrainian women and girls and children are completely tra transformed after full-scale invasion in February. So we want to show their stories and their faces because uh, this uh, there are a lot of uh, women faces in this war. Mm -hmm. There are warrior uh, volunteers, a uh, mother who like saves the children. The, a lot of uh, women lost the health and now are refugees uh, all over the world. Yes. So there are a lot of victims of this war because we have a lot of very sad uh, and terrible stories of the raping and of the aggressions for the women. So yes, you will see all the stories in our exhibition you will see more like bright pictures, more like sad pictures. So I, I think it will be very interesting mm, for South African visitors to to see like maybe another view, like more personal women's right. view for for this uh, terrible war. Right, right. So was that war intended to be a part of this exhibition? Uh, I mean, I mean, what's your understanding of the artwork? So we um, we put the curatorial view uh, inside the exhibition yes. to um, we speak a lot of stories uh, of Ukrainian women and of course you um, you can see the personal view of the artist of the project. Mm -hmm. So this is a four female artist and uh, they all live in Ukraine and they are staying in Ukraine now and they all have their personal stories of the mm -hmm. war and uh, they are unique graphic styles so I think you can see yeah. uh, yes in these pictures uh, and um, they concentrate in a difficult, different angles, you know, there were some of them about more, more emotional, some of them more like romantic, more metaphoric, so you will see a lot yeah. if you will visit. So what kind of emotions are you noticing or picking up in the artwork? It's personally me, I, I put my I think angry in my artwork and yes, I put yes. a lot of hope mm. and uh, I put the mm, the hope of justice mm, there mm, mm. and of course I um, for me it's very important to show my big love for Ukrainian people who now are very united and yes. very open and uh, very bravery and I'm really very it's very honor to me to be the part of sure. Ukraine. Sure. So which artists did you work with to put this um, artwork together? Uh, it is four uh, female artists, uh, mm -hmm. Anastasia Krasilnikova, uh, Svetlana Hryb, uh, and uh, um, Anastasia Postavarova, and my personal work. I am not right, sure right. it's long surname. It will be work for, for uh, but, but still. Okay. So tell me, Olesia, what does uh, you know, the title of the exhibition contribute to the understanding of the meaning of this artwork? Um, it's a very popular book of uh, Belarusian Nobel Prize, uh, Alexievich. She, the book is called An Unwomanly Phase of War. So, and um, I think that for me it was very important to show that no, no, there are a lot of uh, womanly face of war uh, mm -hmm. because women cannot longer be, you know, like only in a background somewhere uh, of the big uh, 
these big tragedies because uh, women are very, very involved and very fragile and very, you know, like it, um, in the situation, yes. and especially now in Ukraine. But Ukrainian women are not only victims. We have yes. a lot of brave women. We have 50, hundreds uh, so, uh, women in Ukrainian army. So it's a, it's a 30%. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of volunteers and uh, we have a lot, of course, we speak about resistance uh, of Ukrainian mother with children, which have a lot of responsibility and all the time mm, have to think about safety, especially when it's like air, uh, air alarm and uh, they need to go mm. to a underground or somewhere. We speak about mother to be uh, in our exhibition, the pregnant women, because we sure. have a lot of women uh, like, uh, have uh, a baby in the like unsafety place and this is yeah. thousands of babies can you imagine this and I think that every woman all over the world can understand this and I think that this uh, women empathy and art language is really international that's why I I really hope and I say it in opening that uh, South African women and uh, visitors of exhibition was very very open and very empathy for, for this artwork and for our stories. You know, every time I think about the war in Ukraine, I just get a shiver. So how do you want the people to look at the war in Ukraine after this exhibition? I think that um, war is so, you know, like shocked and big problem from everybody, not for, from, from, from Ukrainian. And I hope that after our exhibition uh, people understand that it is a big pain yeah. and uh, this is a big injustice uh, and uh, Ukrainian people are very very bravery in this war and uh, we want to win and we will win yeah Tell me, Olivia, what's so exciting about this exhibition? I know it talks about war in Ukraine. It also talks about hope. But uh, what really is exciting? Uh, for me, for me, it's exciting that we really like find this male. I don't want to tell the archetypes, but like yes. roles and faces. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, you really you have like a, it was my. A big, uh, I, I want to put uh, like all exhibition and combine it in one like emotional journey. So you can, from the uh, beginning to the end, um, I hope uh, you will have like a full uh, picture of the roles and uh, the faces and voices of Ukrainian women, which I think can be very interesting uh, here in South Africa also, because we all every day we see the bravery, the beautiful African women, and mm -hmm. uh, we know that uh, they really have a lot of the same, the same problems, the same uh, like feeling, the same empathy like our Ukrainian women are. But uh, is there any other way that uh, the viewers of this exhibition will look at the war in Ukraine differently? Yes, I think you can, you can see in the war in Ukraine mm, more emotionally, not yes. about only information. Because you know when you have the news, 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 the people of course tired about it. And uh, it's, it's uh, not a good idea because uh, <laughs> I think uh, the world mm, cannot be tired of the war because it's really like terrible. And, but it, it, the art can put you in more like emotional uh, world and you can see uh, this uh, terrible uh, you know situation in the different uh, different angles and maybe some of these angles will be like oh yes i don't know this mm -hmm. so oh oh is this is the insight i never mm -hmm. never thinking about some something like that where is it currently showing uh it's um, in and now uh that's so okay. we will have okay. uh, in Sofia town uh, exhibition uh, until 16 of August okay. and uh, since uh, 19 uh, August we will have in Cape Town in a Desmond and Leah Tutu Foundation. Okay. Uh, the second, not like the same exhibition but in Cape Town. Right, right. Well, it's a great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Well, curated by leading members of Ukrainian women-led artist collective Sunseed Art and timed to coincide with Women's Month across South Africa, that's the Womanly Face of War exhibition. We just spoke to curator Onesia Drashkaba.